If you look on the right hand side, you see that eye. Indicates, ow. Okay. Oh, yeah. Indicates uh, that I am really visible. I'm walking around in the dark with a, with a bright torch. Hello. You, noob. Me, great hunter. You follow. Do what I do. Maybe live to tomorrow. Come. <laughs> okay. Roleplay intro aside. Let's get down to brass tacks, my friends. Or, well, l how about stone hatchet, my friends? Uh, this is the Stomping Land. It's an online multiplayer dinosaur survival sandbox. It is on Steam Early Access, $25 US. And uh, if you want to learn more about the game, I'll put a link down below to my first impressions video, which I did a couple of days ago. Um, but it is Early Access. That's the important thing to keep in mind as we uh, as we move forward here in this video because things are subject to change. The game is not finished at all. It, it is version alpha 052 at the time of this recording, So, which is, by the way, June 2nd. But let's get started. We're wasting time. The sun's going to go down. It's going to get pitch black here, and then we're going to be in twobbles. Uh, first things first is we want to collect two resources. There are really only two resources that we can collect in the game right now, and that is stone and wood. So ideally, right off the bat, when you first spawn in the game, you're going to want a location where you have a rock next to a tree. Now, not all rocks are created equal. Some will give you stone. Some do not. This one clearly does, as I am carrying a boulder. Now I'm going to drop that down on the ground here next to the tree, and I'll show you how to get wood from tree. Wood from tree. Hit with axe. Carry. Drop. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to find our stone here and drop it on top of the stone, and suddenly we get a lovely little wicker basket. And if we click on this wicker basket with E, that's our interact button, we shall see what's the contents of this wicker basket. We have one wood and one stone so far, and our first goal is to make a fire pit. At least this is what I do. And that requires two stone, and we can just dump that right into that box, and two wood. And that's as simple as that. These are really the only two resources in the game currently, with the exception of a healing herb, which can be found in a cave. We're probably not going to get that to, to today, but that's used for reviving and taming dinosaurs. So right now, we only want to concern ourselves with wood and stone. Now I've got two wood, two stone in here, and you can see that some craft options have opened up. We have a fire pit. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And I'll start hammering with my stone axe, or axing with my stone axe, I guess. Chopping might be the proper word. There's a Gallimimus in the background there. We're going to go hunt him momentarily. And now we have our fire pit. And if we click on this, and we click on start fire, it should start a fire. Now, for some reason, it's not showing the flame. Hmm. Okay, well, it's definitely lit, because if we hit it again, it tells us to turn it off. Um, and this is one of the reasons I like to start the fire, uh, make a fire pit right off the bat, is to get the fire light. Because when the sun goes down, it gets really dark, and it's nice to have that constant flame. It does not go out. Sadly, it's not showing for some reason. So let's just shut it off and just assume that it is a, a nice warm gl a, bl a glow, a bright glow coming from that fire pit right now. <laughs> wow. First fail. Lovely. So let's go ahead and collect more wood, more stone, and we're going to make a teepee now. So the first, actually, we're going to make a spear now. The first two things I make is the first the fire pit and then a spear so that we can defend ourselves properly. Um, we can kill dinosaurs with a spear. We can also kill other players. And that is going to require uh, five wood and two stone, I believe. So let's go ahead and grab the resources we need here. Now, there happens to be a Stygimolloch in the river, but I think he's stuck, so we don't have too much to worry about him. That's the uh, the, the bald-headed dinosaur there with the spikes around his dome. Two headbutts from him, and you're a goner. They are lethal, and they, and they are aggressive. They will attack you if they get too close. You can bring them down, though, with a proper spear or a bow. And we're going to make a bow here in a second, but first things first, let's get the spear. It is a great weapon. It is the pinnacle of technology of the Cretaceous period right now that we're in. So let's go ahead and click on spear. There it is. Bam. Now, one thing to keep in mind when you start putting these boxes down and filling them with resources, um, when you craft an item, all of the resources in that box will be used up, regardless of any excess. So you don't want to just put as much stone and wood in a box and then start crafting piecemeal. You want to make sure you have the exact amount of everything. And there's a, there's a wiki out there that has a chart for everything, so that makes it real simple. 
to know what to do. So now we have our spear and two two hits from this, and we should be able to kill this um, Moloch, which is down in the water. He's stuck. Oh, okay. We don't want to fall down there. We have a little. When we thrust like that, we take a quick step. All right. Now we have some defense, and we can hunt with this thing as well. Two hits for the Gallimimus, and it will go down. That is the Gallimimus. They're uh, herbivores, I guess. They're not aggressive. They will run away, and they're faster than you. Or at least the same speed. So we need to bring that guy down to get some food because we can't survive long without chow. And that guy back there is making me a little nervous. So let's go ahead and chop up some more wood. We're going to make a bow. And a bow requires five wood and two stone. So I'm just going to collect the stone here down on the ground at my feet. And I think that is four. Is that four? Ooh, I'm going to step back and look at it. That's five. Excellent. Okay. Now, you can also pull your box around with rope like so. Note that this does not work well on crappy servers. I've been on servers where this rope will snap after just walking a couple of feet. So, if that happens to you, I recommend you leave that server and get to another one for the, the best experience possible with the game currently. And the same thing goes for clipping and attacking because uh, on some servers that have that are slower, just don't handle this netcode very well, um, the dinosaurs will pass right through you. And sometimes you can't hit them with your spear either, or your bow or anything. So that's kind of a bummer. Uh, now we're going to make a bow. So there it is. New craft options. Bow. Yeah, if I get on a server like that, I will leave immediately and find one where there's no, uh, there's no latency or whatever it is. I think that it's just a netcode is not, it's obviously not perfected yet, and they're still working on it, but um, there are servers that will provide better experiences for you. So he's stuck in the river down here. We might as well shoot him, although I should demonstrate an actual an actual shootery hunt. So let's go do that. That one that one seems a little bit cheap to shoot the poor guys. Like shooting dinosaurs in a river. Barrel. Monkeys. What? Okay, let's hunt. Ooh. Now it will take one shot of our bow here to kill a Gallimimus. And that will give us small meat. The uh, Stygy there, the one with the ball. Oh, he's out. He's out. He got free. Let's go shoot him. Will give us two meat as well, but they're, they're actually a little bit easier to hit because they're larger targets. And if you shoot one, they usually come at you, which is kind of what you want, kind of what you don't. But got him. Oh, he's, all right. he's not coming. Now, we only get ten arrows, so kind of want to be sparing and get make sure you get the shot in. Uh, let's switch. Where is he? So if they come right at you, then uh, you want to whip out your your spear if possible. But they're easy to shoot because, like I said, they're bigger targets. And when they're going away from you like that, oh, he's on the move. Let's get him. There he is. Now, hopefully, you get a target a little closer to home. Oh, got him! Whoo! Sheepers. All right, it's a good thing I shot him the first time because that it takes two to kill him. <laughs> wow, it's fast. Uh, two hits with a spear or two hits with a bow. So that's the way you want to do it. And now we're going to just drop his meat on the ground here. You're going to get two small meats. There we go. Two small meats. He disappears. And we get a box and we can pull this back to camp. Come on. Come on, box. Let's get our box back to camp. All right, almost there. Somebody's angry. What was that? Now, there are much larger dinosaurs here, too. Carnivorous dinosaurs. Um, specifically, the Carnotaur, which will come right at you and eat you, and you can't do anything about it. You cannot kill a Carnotaur. You can't kill the Ankylosaurus. You can't kill, um, you can't kill the... Uh, I think there's a Styracosaurus. They're too big. So what you need to do is have them fight one another, and that's a tactic that uh, you'll figure out on your own. They do fight against one another. Um, we'll talk about that in a minute, but let's get our meat cooked up here first. So you can't put your meat on a fire that's already started. So you have to make sure you, you shut it off. And then we're going to go ahead and stick our meat on the spit here. And now we can hit start fire. And I'm really sad that there's no flames. I don't know what's happening. It worked perfectly fine last night. I had flames. It does give off a nice constant light. It will never run out of wood, your fire. At least not now, anyway. Turn this alpha. 
and it makes it much easier to find your way back home if you get lost. In the meantime, let's grab some more resources. We're going to make a teepee. And I'm going to need, for a teepee, I'm going to need 10 wood and I think 4 stone. So let's do that. I'm not really hungry right now, so I'm not worried about the food. It will cook. It only takes about a minute. In fact, it's probably done now. Yep, sure is. And if we point to that, hit our interact key, we can eat small meat. Might as well have a piece. Nom nom. Down the hatch. Very quick. And uh, you can see to the right-hand side, we have that little meat pop. You can't really see it there, can you? Yeah, if you can't see it, that means you're good. You're not hungry. If it, uh, if it starts becoming visible, you have to start thinking about food. And when it turns red, that means you're probably going to starve soon. You can also fish. If you take a spear and jump into the water and just stand com and, and swim, float completely still, a fish might come by and you can try to stab it. And sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. That's eight wood. We're going to need a little bit more. And ten wood. And what did I say? Four stone, right? Let's get four stone. Okay, now we have our wood, ten wood, four stone. We want to make a teepee, which provides us with a, a little bit of a shelter and a spawn point. And this looks like an ideal spot. Let's just do it right here. This is fine. We're going to hit TP, and there we go. Axing away. Same motion. Works for pretty much everything. And just a few seconds later, and bam! Bamboo. Is that bamboo? Is, oh, gee, I have a tree in the door, but that's okay. Maybe that'll block dinosaurs from getting in. <laughs> and, and me. But now if I die, I will respawn in, inside the TP. Oh, wow. Can I really not get in there? Okay. There's a trick to it. That's Hey, you know, that's not such a bad idea. All right. So, now that we have a TP, we have a respawn point in case we do meet our demise. And the next step would be to make the rest of the, uh, the items. There's really only a few items. You've got the bolus, which we'll use to bring down other players. It doesn't work on dinosaurs yet. It might eventually. Um, and to make a bolus, it's just... The bolus is two wood and one stone. We'll go ahead and do that. And basically, this is just rope with rocks in the end, and you use it to capture small prey. And you can even wrap up other players with this. And drag them around. There we go. It doesn't work on dinosaurs, so don't even bother. At least not yet. I hope it does eventually. Maybe on the Gallimimus. And you just kind of throw it. Like that. And you get three. Now I'm down to two. By the way, you can also make more arrows. So right now I have six of ten arrows. If I want more arrows, I don't have to make the whole bow again. You just do two wood. One. And I always move around here. You don't have to. You just get, put it in your hand and then hit your E key. But you do have to face it when you want to open it, the box. And now I can make more arrows. Just two wood. Really nice. And I'll get full up arrow quiver. There we go. Back to ten. Okay, let's make a torch because I want to see if I get some flame. I'm not sure why I'm not getting flame. I'm getting flame. This flame works perfectly fine. I'm not sure why my fire doesn't. Alright, you can't carry a torch and anything else, so basically if you switch to something else, your torch falls to the ground where it will be extinguished after a while, but I think you can pick it up again and relight it. Newbie, before you go, big dinosaur can be found by follow star. Each one indicates big dinosaur. Sometimes, when many stars are together, there be fight. You go to that location and potentially find meat. <laughs> yeah, so basically, each one of these stars will indicate the location of, a, uh, of one of the larger dinosaurs. And when you have a cluster of them, that means there's a fight going on. And, oh, there's a fight right now. Two guys are engaging, apparently, right there in the center of the screen, moving about... And uh, usually, one will win, and one will die. And that gives you the opportunity of sneaking in and taking some of the big meat. The heavy meat. The good stuff. But you want to make sure, clearly, that you are not carrying a torch in the middle of the night like I am. I'm extremely visible. And that's one of the other things is stealth. And I'm not sure how much of this is implemented right now, to be honest. But if you look on the right-hand side, you see that eye. Indicates, ow! Okay. Oh, yeah. 
indicates uh, that I am really visible. I'm walking around in the dark with a, with a bright torch. <laughs> and uh, Stygie just killed me. Whacked me twice, headbutted dead. Now, did you notice that right there? I could have revived. I could have waited to be revived. Obviously, I need another player for that. But if you don't revive, you just let it go. You can go to a random spot or back to your TP. This is why we build a TP early on. Um, the expertise, by the way, was four. That's because I had already been killed once. I was looking for a Carnotaur and found one, but I wasn't recording, and I ended up respawning. But uh, the expertise is something that you will accumulate over time, and the more you get, um, the, the better the dinosaur that you can tame. You can actually tame and ride dinosaurs, and you need at least 25 to tame a Gallimimus, but you'll also need the healing herb which we have not found yet because you find those in the cave and we haven't had that opportunity. I wanted to keep this relatively, this video relatively short and focused on just uh, making the first few tools. Look what I found, a corpse. So there was a fight here apparently and we have actually, it looks like a couple of dead dinosaurs. We've got two Ankylosauruses. So I just followed, well, I went in the direction of the stars and uh, oh, there goes one. Oh no, they both went away. Poof, gone. Did they leave the meat? I guess not. That's a shame. Um, eventually, we're going to be able to track these guys on the ground, too. I don't know if that's implemented yet. But tracking will be um, one of the features that hunters will have at their disposal. One of the tools at their disposal to find dinosaurs. Oh, jeez. Big battle here. This is a Carnotaur. So there's a massive fight going on here. If I had had a healing herb on me and the proper expertise... I could revive this dinosaur and uh, tame it, and I could ride it. But I don't have the healing herb or the expertise at this point. But every time you die, you lose your expertise. So let's go see if we can find a living Carnotaur. Just for educational purposes. Show you big dino. I hear big dino. Let's go see. Oh, yeah, that's a Carnotaur. Oh, yum, yum. Eat, eat, eat. Big, good, great hunter. <laughs> Bigger hunter. Better hunter. Dino. All right. Anyway, I think that's it, folks. I hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.